in this video, I've got a really simple route concept today that is going to be able to beat every coverage in the game. And why I like this concept so much is because it's going to pair two of the most powerful routes in Madden, actually probably three of the most powerful routes in Madden 22. And it's going to be able to uh, really push the defense and, and kind of, I think, just put the user in uh, no man's land for how he's going to be able to defend this. Now, uh, as you can see here, I've got 30 yard clouds, I've got 10 yard curl flats and five yard hook curls. And we're going to be showing this. This is out of our trips tight end uh, formation. It's my favorite offense in the game. Um, it's been my favorite offense probably for the last two years. And I just keep falling more in love with this offense. Now, one thing I do want to say before we get in the video is if you want to learn my entire trips tight end offense, if you join my Patreon, you'll get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. So you'll get the trip stuff, but you'll also get the bunch stuff and the spread stuff and the air raid stuff and the compression. You get everything. And, and we also have ebooks for, for defense. We actually have more defensive guides this year than offensive guides. Got over 28 ebooks over there at the Patreon page. So by joining, you get immediate access to all of our offensive and defensive guides. So today we're taking a look at the play PA Shot Post, which is quickly becoming my favorite play in the game for its versatility and just what you can do with it. And what we're going to do is we want to put our best route runner in the second slot position. And then we want to, our circle receiver is going to be more of a check down type of player. Now, the way we're going to run this is there's kind of a couple, there's several different setups for this. But the way that I like to run this play is we're going to streak our tight end. And then we're going to hitch our circle receiver. Most people uh, kind of see trip sign in as it revolves around the number three receiver. Not exactly always true. And we're going to show you uh, why I like this concept. Basically, what we're going to get here is we've got our crosser on the right. Now, the tight end is going to clear out zones. And so they're going to have to put a 30-yard cloud of some type over there on that side of the field. So a lot of times you'll get a coverage that kind of looks like this. And what this is going to do is now their coverage is going to be kind of adapted to defend that route. So you'll see here that the crosser this time is, is, is kind of covered. Um, there's a small little window in which you can throw this and I'll show that again. Um, what you can do with this crosser it, it's a little better to the short side of the field and it's a little bit better if I had just a, a, a little bit better route running. But if you have 90 route running or higher, or I think it might be 95, but I'm pretty sure it's 90, it could be 85 on all Madden, you'll get a deeper crosser. And what will happen is this route will get deeper down the field. Um, here you see it stops moving and the 30 yard cloud can kind of hang with it. A 25 yard cloud flat, which is also a very common adjustment, will not stop this route. It has to be a 30 yard cloud. Now, another thing that people will try to do to try to stop these crossers is they will try to press and they'll try to utilize this quarter zone from the outside corner. Because this crosser takes so long to get across the formation, a lot of times this is still gonna be there for you. That time I was, I was uh, kind of bottled up but the baseline and press quarter is also an option. I'll show you how to get around that in just a second. So if they are gonna baseline and press, I'll show this one more time. You'll see here that if they do baseline and press, you just wanna throw the ball right about here, pass league down and away. And a lot of times that will get open. Obviously that Jair has a lot of abilities to help him. But if they are truly going to, they have to baseline and press. They can't just be a press quarter. It has to be a baseline and press outside quarter. If they're gonna do that, what you can easily do is motion this receiver to the right, put him on a streak, and then drag your tight end. Um, this is another basically simple way to get the same thing, and you see how much more open this is against cover four than it was before. Now, the other thing that I wanna point out is that this, because we're running our vertical, uh, our streak to our tight end, this is really good for user catching. And so all we're going to do is we're just going to, if they take this crosser across the formation, then we're going to throw this post right about there. And you're going to see that we're just going to cut that off and it's going to be fairly consistent for being able to be user caught against pretty much any zone in Madden 22. So their user kind of has to go up. It has to go up with the crosser or it has to go up with the post. 
And so what we can then do is we've got so much action vertically that it's going to leave the underneath zones and we're just going to playmaker by flicking our right joystick in the area of which we want that hitch to run and then we're going to hit the hitch. And it's the best check down in the game. Why? Because we've cleared out all the zones and the use the user has to still go back. If the user stays down to cover the hitch, then what you'll see is even though the crosser is gonna be defended once he crosses the middle, I can throw this, which is very consistent over the middle, made a bad, uh, I, was, I threw that just a little bit too late, but I have plenty of ability to be able to hit that route consistently against zone coverage. So I'll show you what this looks like. Again, hitch, fade, they cover the hitch with their user. You can throw the crosser right there, and then you can throw the post right in that pocket. So as you can see, real simple read for, for me right there. Now, another thing that is really popular right now, a lot of people are liking it, is man-to-man. -man. A lot of people are liking man-to-man -man coverage, and this play does a decent job at beating it. Um, and the reason why is because we're gonna work through this playmaker hitch, and we're gonna work through some of our other routes. This crosser, I'm just gonna tell you my personal opinion, this crosser right here, I don't know why, but I just find that it consistently, for me, gets open and man-to-man. -man. Um, it's one of those crossers. I actually think it's a little better than the PA counter go crosser this year because you'll see him kind of get pressed, and then he'll get this kind of like jetpack cook animation. You see he's kind of just get some separation there, and then you see this get open on the sideline. So as you can see, very consistent. If you want to put short in a lead or short out a lead or you know whatever you want to put on him to make him run better, that's fine. Um, but then another thing, so so they're going to have to use the crosser across the field again. So because they have to use the crosser across the field, now what you'll see here is my skinny post is going to get under the third. Now it might get catch tackle. Um, the main times that I find that I get catch tackled with that skinny post is if I'm in a situation, you know, where I'm trying to think situationally, just, I mean, I just probably typically you throw it too late. Like you want to throw it kind of right in here. If it's man to man, right on the cut is where you want to throw the ball. And then I want to show you something else. This is something that a lot of players, a lot of pro players have been talking about a lot. We put this out and we talked uh, we talked about it a lot earlier in the season. I've talked about it a little bit recently. Um, but basically, this is kind of a new, newer way that a lot of people are defending trips. It's basically they're going to do this. They're going to have man-to-man -man like so. And then they're going to have this guy in an inside quarter. And then from there, you know, you might, there's all, all kinds of things they would do on the back side of this. You're probably going to get, you know, man to man on the tight end with a cover two, you know, very possible, something like this. Okay. Um, if you get this, this is not a bad look for this call. Why? Because the crosser will still get open. Also notice your skinny post will be fairly decent against this. Um, a lot of people... You know that that quarter is pretty good, uh, but it's not it's not perfect by any means. And then I'll show you something else about this. So if they're running this setup on you, you can be prepared. So let's say that they back him up and shade him inside. This is a kind of it will defend um, it will defend the post a little better. But what you should see here is because it's an S post, he'll still be able to get inside of him right there. And be able to kind of get into a unique spot. Now again, Brady's. I can't. <laughs> I can't make Brady throw better, but um, you know, that's just something to kind of pay attention to. Okay, um, you're gonna get man to man, and you know you're gonna get something like this. You can also play a little bit more through your tight end. This is where that motion over setup is really effective. Why is that motion over setup really effective? Because it does a really good job at messing with that that coverage in particularly. Why? Because they can't match you. Okay, so they're going to get out of some of that coverage. But anyways, um, you also have your playmaker hitch in this. Uh, your playmaker hitch is a nice option. Once he cuts inside, you're just going to aggressive catch it and cut it off, as you can see. So fairly effective little route combo here. Don't be afraid to block your tight end. Um, if you do, if you if you do block your tight end, I just recommend motioning this guy over and turning this into something like this. Um, if you want to block your tight end, this right here is a really good play 
Most people will sleep on this, but it's the same basic concept, right? You can play maker that hits to the outside or the inside, depending on what they're doing, and then you can have your check down. So um, this is just, you know, again, just another one of my favorite plays in this game. You know, real simple but real effective. You can, if you want to, do something like this. Um, this is a concept you can use. Uh, I don't use this a ton because the problem is in cover four, that quarter can sometimes play that, as you can see right there. So, anyways, that's the S post and the playmaker hitch combo out of trips tight end. Love this play. Um, it's real simple but real effective, especially for the meta and the way that most people in general right now are defending the trips tight end formation. Thanks for watching the video. And if you would like to get better at Madden and you want to get all of my ebooks, remember by joining my membership, you get all of them. So for just ten dollars, you'll be able to get over access to over twenty eight offensive and defensive guides, including my full trips tight end ebook. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the membership, head down to the description below and click the link down there to go sign up for the Patreon page.